How's it going guys? David here from phonebook.com and in this video we're doing a speed comparison test between two of Samsung's most popular phones. On the left here we have the Samsung Galaxy S3. This is uh, T-Mobile's version. And on the right of course we have the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. This is actually the unlocked HSPA Plus version. So we'll go ahead and start the speed test uh, starting with the boot up test. So I'll turn these guys on at the same time. One, two, three. Hold it for a few seconds. There you go. And uh, while these guys are loading up, I'll let you know that they're both running on the same Wi-Fi network. I am going to be doing a few application speed tests and also a browser test. And um, I actually cleared out the uh, the uh, browsing history on both phones before I turned them off. So uh, we're going to get a nice even test. Obviously, we expect the Galaxy S3 to win here on the left with that 1.5 GHz S4 dual core processor. On the right, we have a 1.2 GHz OMAP 4460 processor from uh, Texas Instruments. So as you can see, the boot up test is already done on the S3. Also notable, the S3 has 2GB of RAM on the US version, and uh, the Galaxy Nexus, of course, has 1GB. So, uh, like I said, we expect the guy on the left to win, but always nice to see, you know, how big of a difference it is between the two. Um, this guy was released in December, at least here in America, and this guy was obviously released in June. So, Galaxy S3 or Galaxy S3 is done. Galaxy Nexus just finished up right now. So, I'll go ahead and unlock these guys. So, unlock this guy and this guy. And you can see the widgets still loading up. Uh, I have the same widgets loaded up, just the uh, qu quick toggles and uh, weather widget on both phones. So nice and even. Um, we'll go ahead and start the first application test and uh, that will be, let's do uh, Flickster. So load up Flickster on both, one, two, three. And you can see the S3 is done and followed by the Galaxy Nexus. So obviously that test is a win for the S3. And I'll go ahead and let the apps run in the background so you can see on here, they're running right here and uh, running right here because, you know, Android is a multitasking OS. So we'll go ahead and see how it performs. Obviously, that's going to give a big advantage to the two gigabytes here on the left. So next app speed will be the uh, Score Center app. So one, two, three. And again, the Galaxy S3 finished up first. Galaxy Nexus is still going. And there you go, now it finished. So that was a quite a notable difference right there. Go ahead and hit home on both. And we'll go to the next app speed test, which is the dictionary app. So one, two, three. Again, the Galaxy S3 finished up first. Wasn't that big of a difference here, but you know, it was about half the time that it took for the Galaxy Nexus. So far, the Score Center app took the longest, but that app takes long in general, so obviously the difference will be more noticeable. So uh, the next test I'll do is the camera app. So I've got camera shortcut right there. Got my camera shortcut right here. So I'll press it at the same time. So one, two, three. And there you go. You can see it loaded up first on the Galaxy S3. We'll hit home, back out of here. And uh, now we'll go ahead and do a quadrant uh, standard test just so you guys can see the benchmarks. So I got quadrant standard somewhere over here on this guy. Where'd it go, where'd it go? There it is, go quadrant. Made a shortcut here on the Galaxy S3, so just tap both of these guys. And you know what? Actually, I'm gonna close the uh, background on or the background apps for th this test. So we'll go ahead and remove all here. And on this guy, we'll have to swipe it out. Definitely like that feature on the S3 to be able to do all at once. So go ahead and press Run Benchmark. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and like fast forward uh, this part of the video and come back to it as soon as it's done. All right, so the Galaxy S3 is done. You can see on the left, we'll go ahead and fast forward for the Galaxy Nexus. All right, so there you go. Both phones are done. So let's go ahead and yes on both. Yes on both guys. And we'll go ahead and show you this guy first. So you can see the Galaxy uh, Nexus scored a 2010 on this test. A little bit lo lower than that normally does, but you know, you get a range between 2000 and 2300 uh, usually. So that's that. We'll go ahead and look at the test on here and you can see it says your device at the top, 4,953. So almost 5,000, probably you could get 5,000 uh, off a of fresh boot, but definitely impressive. Obviously, you know, more than double the score on the Galaxy Nexus. And uh, you know, that was expected, but I uh, wasn't expecting it to be that big. So anyway, that's that test. And we'll go ahead and hit home out of here. We'll go ahead and close it just because, so close this guy out, close this guy out. 
Now let's go to the browser speed test, probably the most you know applicable test uh, when it comes to actual speed, you know, where you'll notice the difference the most. So let's go over to the first site will be phone buff. All right, so one, two, three. There you go, you can see the Galaxy S3 loaded up the page first. Still not showing that it's done loading, but uh, there you go, now it's done. And the Galaxy Nexus followed up right there. So both pretty fast, but the Galaxy S3 did get the win there. Let's go ahead and go to the next site, which will be, uh, we'll just do uh, NFL.com, sounds good to me. So NFL.com. All right, so one, two, three. Again, it loaded up first on the Galaxy S3 and now followed up by the Galaxy Nexus. So pretty big difference there. That was just the mobile site. And they did, they did both load up the same you know, mobile site. So we'll go ahead and go to the desktop version. So one, two, three. All right, Galaxy S3 showed up first. It's done. And this guy's still loading up. There you go, now it's done. So like I said, both are pretty fast browsers. But obviously the Galaxy S3 has the edge. I think that gives you a pretty good idea as far as the uh, speed goes for the browser. Um, overall, you know, it's a unanimous decision. You know, the Galaxy S3 wins in the boot up test. It wins in the app speed test. And it wins in the uh, browser test. C camera loads up faster. And uh, I mean, overall, you're going to get a better experience on here. And uh, we didn't really test heavily with the multitasking. You know, you could have a bunch more apps open with the uh, extra gig of RAM than you would on the Galaxy Nexus. But... Anyway, that's it for me in this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.